So I would like to introduce uh, Sanjay sir. Uh, so like brief introduction, uh, Mr. Sanjay Srivastava has a vast industry experience of almost 20 years with bachelor's degree in civil engineering from Jadapur University, Kolkata and master's in uh, civil engineering in structure, engin structure engineering. Also, he had introduced uh, uh, accounting and finance, uh, one online course uh, by the IIT Delhi and Kanpur. And uh, he had worked on several renowned companies in India as well as abroad also. And uh, sir has keen interest in the design of pre-engineering building, P PEB, space frame, metro stations, Vesco circular beams, UK technology, and circular hollow sections, design of the roll sections. So basically it's all about the prefab as well as the related to the steel members. Uh, if I'm talking about the other software uh, skills uh, like the MBS software for the pre-engineering building where we have to focus on the different members as well as how to design the uh, steel sections in their particular softwares. Statro for the structure analysis, size plus for the spatial software for pre-engineering building, then uh, uh, cellular beam design softwares, then spatial software for the space frame, as well as the AutoCAD also, because Auto AutoCAD is the common software for archit architects as well as the civil engineering also. So this is the brief uh, interest, uh, brief interest as well as the introduction about the Sanjay sir. Now I, I would like to uh, request to sir to please start your sessions. Uh, good morning, everyone. And I hope uh, I am visible to everyone uh, and audible also. Yes, sir, and, you are audible. And I, I guess uh, everyone is much more comfortable with Hindi and English both. So yes, whenever, sir, yeah. uh, whenever required, I will use uh, both the language. And now today our topic is actually basic introduction is portal frame. Portal frame is a very vast subject. So we will not go much more because of time restraint. So we will discuss only some basic things on the portal frame. And here is some just short note what we are going to discuss today. Uh, things are what is the portal frame, why portal frame, type of difference with truss, <coughs> use of portal frame, composition, composition means different part of portal, primary system, framing arrangement, how to frame, crane system, mezzanine system, general material specification, what type of loads basically comes on the structure, <coughs> then structural system of portal framing means structural system means how load is being distributed actually. Important thing is anchor bolt base plate arrangement and which code are basically we are using to design this one and some load combination. It is according to Indian. So those some few things which are going to discuss today. Very briefly actually. Now I am coming to basically what is portal frame. Portal frame basically it is a two dimensional rigid frame and that have a basic characteristics of rigid joint between column and beam. These characteristics of rigid joint between column and beam means if we say this one is column and this is beam. Normally we call this is a rafter in industrial use. <laughs> it is called rafter. Here basically we have a rigid connection. Rigid means which can transfer moment, tension and shear all. So that's why here it is written as a characteristics of a rigid joint. And the main object of this form of design is to reduce bending moment in the beam, <coughs> which allow the frame to act as a one structural unit. It means if we see this bending moment diagram, suppose if it was simply supported, then what <coughs> it would happen in that case, uh, 
at the center bending moment will be maximum and here is the means minimum or zero but since we are making a plat uh, making a rigid joint here rigid joint here so what is happening this moment distribution is happening and here moment is reducing and some is transferring over here so the as a result it is acting as a whole frame not individually column and not rafter it is acting as a whole one system of structure <clears throat> so this is the basic basically definition of portal frame which we call uh, portal frame actually now sorry just a bit actually because if this slide it is going slow sorry now basically why portal frame to be used here if you see ki this is a portal frame typical portal frame and it is a bending moment diagram if we compare with our uh, conventional structure then what will happen there is a this column and this rafter is a uniform section but in case of portal frame means if we using this tapered kind of so this property sectional property basically follows the bending moment diagram follows the bending moment diagram means here if you see bending moment diagram is almost nil so here property is very minimum and if you see this bending moment diagram is increasing this member sizes is also increasing similarly in this rafter also same thing is happening here bending moment diagram is maximum that's why here property is more and bending moment diagram here is reducing and this property is also reducing similarly this way this is following the bending moment diagram this part and this basically uh, saving our steels as saving steel means it is reducing the cost main purpose is main and this this cut off means this kind of profile it can be used on the other part means suppose if we take this one is as a example if this is a rectangle we cut we can cut it like this way so half part can be used this side and remaining half part can be using this side but in conventional system this optimizing process optimizing system is not available in this conventional system so that's why basically this system is going very much popular over this system this is the basic basically concept why we are using this kind of portal frame apart from this system there are also so many factors ki this kind of system is going to be very much popular those are very much system few items i am just discussing section sizes material also material grade foundation actually uh, very light <coughs> since this depth we can reduce that means pedestal size also we can reduce whereas here you can see it's required more depth of pedestal more sizes 
we have a several design procedure seismic since it is a lightweight so seismic also uh, not governing most of the cases wind governing so <clears throat> in seismic zone it is a it can be used very easily its erection cost is very less actually less delivery time with respect to any conventional structure because conventional structure there is a so many welding transporting all those system is required but here it is little bit less uh, here number of joint is also very less because you can see for a typical here here those are only the joint which we can connected on the site and choice uh, choice is uh, also very important thing actually most of the important thing each and every structure should be, should looks aesthetically very nice it can be maintenance very easily because it is a single member so that's why it is a maintenance is very easily whereas in cases of trusses <coughs> you can imagine to maintain the trusses to um, uh keep a uh, clean it is a very difficult task for truss cases and this kind of basically it gives a complete solution means you can get each and every uh, facilities whichever is required in our industries or residential purpose like a ac duct electrification any kind of hanging arrangement everything is available so that's why basically this system is going to going very much popular nowadays now i am coming to next here it is a just a minute sir now things is type of portal frame basically portal frame now is a very very much a common structure nowadays and because of lightweight building lightweight it can be actually different kind of this is one is solid web solid web means it is this kind of it is a three plated welding together give a i shape it looks like a i if we take a take a cross section at any location of this frame any location of this frame it should looks like a i there is a no gap actually it is a solid wave plate it has a solid wave and here is a top flange and here is a bottom flange so it is a basically total solid thing that's why it is called <coughs> solid wave and this is basically lattice frame i guess all of you have seen this one in different fabric uh, our old practice this is also a portal frame why portal frame because it has a moment carrying moment transferring system descent and descent also here also we have a rigid connection rigid connection means moment transferring facilities here also each and every joint has a moment transferring that's why it is much more stable in transverse direction last one is composed of welded a shape composed welded means <coughs> this top part is itself a i section and bottom part it's also itself i section and this top i section this top i section and bottom i section can be connected by this kind of arrangement hope i am clear to everyone uh Again, yes, that's clear. Yeah. Uh, again, I am repeating once again. This top part is also 
a i section and this bottom part is also i section and this top i section and bottom i section get connected by this arrangement that's why it is called compose of welded asf it can be like this way coming to next basically here it is a difference between portal frame and truss what is the difference it is very important to know ki why we are using this this looks like a typical portal frame and this looks like a typical truss actually in case of <coughs> frame all joints are rigid joints here all joints are rigid joints but in truss you know all are pinned truss it has transverse rotation means it cannot be uh, collapsed like this way it is designed in such a way it not cannot be collapsed here also this is basically all are released all are pinned so to means mm, for stability purpose this arrangement basically has been made all load internal loads actually here for portal cases uh, loads axial load cr bending moment torsion all loads are basically taken care developed and taken care but in case of truss they are only axial force either tension or compression here no member basically takes the bending moment in this truss cases external loads also here external load it can be uh, any kind of loading load can be axial load can be transverse load can be torsional kind of but in case of truss all loads normally applied as a axial load only point load basically here 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 all the nodal point where basically secondary member rest this load only transferred as a axial loads so this is the main basic some basic difference between portal frame and truss and because of all those facilities basically we can counteract by this system that's why now this system is going to be very popular nowadays i am coming to next now basically where we can use this portal frame actually this portal frame nowadays can be used at each and every means uh field even though there is a i have just separated in two uh two segment to understand in better way basically what gives this portal frame actually gives us very long clear space it gives very long clear space with respect to nominal member sizes if we go in other uh, system like conventional all rcc to achieve this much of clear space we may need more depth of member and more uh, sectional sizes and more depth of member means more unusable area of the uh, unusable area of the plot and unusable area of the plot means it is a uneconomical solution because everything is related with cost we have to see and we have to judge each and everything with respect to cost always if we do something which is not uh, cost affecting that might not be acceptable or might not be a good solution so in that case basically so that's why long span 
with minimum depth and more clear space more clear space is a very important thing <clears throat> as you know ki suppose we are doing this in rcc or something in other solution if there is a in between a column so just for uh, example purpose i am giving this industrial uh, uh, example suppose here we have a column in between then this truck cannot move easily or thoroughly so it is a basically disturbance and it will not solve the purpose so this is the meaning of this means this is the importance of this more clear space since we have a more clear space we can achieve this kind of facilities in that point of view basically we have a industrial shed also and multi storied building also so that's why portal frame can be used anywhere warehouse with crane market sugar mill coal shed and multi storied in office building coal storage school building hospital building auditorium nowadays every everywhere this one is means going to be not everywhere this is going to be started in different segment coming to next here basically some means different component of the portal steel building component and you can say as a composition also it is a very typical cross section if we see it looks like this way and it is a uh, 3d actually presentation of the same thing here basically in portal steel framing system there are two three parts actually through three <coughs> different uh, means items is there we have segregated like this way one is like a primary framing secondary framing envelope structure and some auxiliary structure is also there primary framing means this frame this uh, portal frame it's called actually primary framing because it register transfers vertical and all kind of <coughs> external loads so this basically purpose this basically resolve the main purpose of the load load carrying uh, load distributing system it basically takes actually so this uh, that's why it is called primary framing system second is secondary framing system which includes roof purlin and wall guard here if you see there is a some horizontally running along the length of the building this is called guard actually some uh, it's called guard or some called side runner also <coughs> when it is used in the wall it calls guard or side runner and when it used at the roof in the same fashion it calls purlin its main purpose to transfer the vertical load to the frame to the primary frame and it helps to connect primary frame to each other and envelope structure in the sense roof and wall panel here if you see this is roof and this is wall panel is there so this roof panel and auxiliary means staircase platform it is a internal utility whatever you required those are auxiliary structure auxiliary means it doesn't have much effect on the stability of the structure you can add to this building or you can remove from this building whenever it is required so that's why it is called auxiliary structure it doesn't have much effect on the stability part of this structure so basically in short what is happening all loads basically coming to now let's go to like this way we came from top to bottom now i am going to bottom to top all loads 
come to the envelope of the structure envelope means roof and wall and panels whatever it is that load distributed to secondary secondary means purlin and wall guard it may be vertical and it may be transverse or longitudinal also and that secondary load transfer to the primary primary means in our portal uh, frame and then this load distributed to the foundation so those are basic uh, means division of the framing system steel columns roof beams bracing system constitute the primary forces skeleton of the portal it is the primary framing what i told it is the <coughs> same thing he has written roof purlin wall guard not support the roof and wall but provide lateral support main structural beams and columns which form a secondary framing of portal building system and roof and wall panel serve as envelope and closure envelope and closure of the entire structure while also increasing the overall stiffness of the steel building yes it is correct basically primary secondary this gives to stability to each other after connecting and when we add this uh, panel it also gives a very much strength to the structure to make it stable but it is very important to know when are when we are designing any building our code doesn't have consideration this effect of this scale, uh, of this uh, envelope or closure item means when we are designing we are involved only to load sharing by this primary and secondary member only contribution of strength to the structure of this cladding basically we do not consider in our structure in our designing during designing it is important to know now i am coming to next here basically some primary framing system means how many types basically we can to make here basically it is a, here some technical means which are mostly used in our industries here it is just written it can be of clear space here one column here and column in between nothing it is very much clear space and <clears throat> so it is called clear span here we can provide a internal column to make it more economical so it is called ms1 kind of here in this shape we can use crane also so this portal frame is very much uh, means uh, able to bear this crane load and this crane load nowadays can be from your 1 metric ton to 100 metric ton we can use by this using this portal framing system and it can be arch also this arch kind of system it looks aesthetically looks very nice so this also can be achieved this is some more uh, more type of frame we can make very easily there is a no difficulties actually according to building width and requirement two column also can be used two three whatever you required based on building wide building width we can add on column it is here we can also this kind of also suppose this width is going to be very long uh, means 100 meter 150 meter suppose width wise in that case we can change we can change in to this shape also to reduce the cost 
this is also one of the arrangement which we can make it is called actually multi cable kind of this kind of single span also we can it is a single slope this is also uh, basically very widely used those are just some pictorial uh, views just to understand practically it is it is called lean to this kind of arrangement portal it is also called part of portal so it is possible this is a example of that multi cable kind of this kind of structure also can be this is clear span might be this is one single slope what i have shown so those each and means all kind of uh, shape according to use can be used by portal frame those are some more much more pictorial means nowadays for industrial cases crane is very much important item to use inside the building so that's why i have shown this pictorial so and crane also not a, uh, it's not only eot crane there are now several crane have been using in industrial purpose this crane is called eot crane which is supported on the column so all the crane loads is transferring to this column so in portal frame this kind of uses also can be used by using this one we have a another crane basically it is called underhang crane instead of supporting from column it's hang from the rafter at the both side so this kind of facilities also can also can be provided uh, by using portal frame another system is it is a monorail it is a monorail means only single wheel wheel is there it and it can run in longitudinally or transversely as required so this also can be used those are some basically it is a gol <coughs> is called goliath crane actually it is semi goliath its one side rested on the ground directly and one side rested on the column so this also can be this is basically full goliath crane uh, it has no relation with the our frame it is basically individually and self standing system inside the building it has no connection with this portal this is called zip crane this zip crane basically it is a cantilever kind of which supported from the column and this arm it can be rotated actually in transverse direction it can rotate it to lift the material so all those crane facilities actually can be provided by using this portal system so all means all industrial use means by using portal frame we can solve the purpose of industrial uses so that's why i have shown those basically some pictorial views here one another important uh, means use of uh, it can be means residential or industrial both it is mezzanine means mezzanine can be used for storage purpose office purpose or any other kind of so this mezzanine also can be provided inside the building taking supporting from this portal arrangement here this is a portal frame this is a <coughs> primary member and those are secondary member this kind of arrangement column to column we are using primary member then secondary member <clears throat> and by arranging like this way we can provide this mezzanine or floor arrangement inside the building this can be 
your single storage, double storage, three storage as required. And those are some typical connection. How to this? It can be this mezzanine floor can be of your RCC, RCC floor can be of your checker plate and can be of your grating. Normally, this grating used in cold storages purposes because you know for cold storages, cold air basically have to circulate from top to bottom. It may be, suppose it is a multi storied uh, frame, there are two, three floor is there. So, cold uh, air has to pass through from top to uh, bottom to top. So, in that case, grating to use. Grating, I think you might know, grating is a, some hole is there. So, air can pass through. So, <clears throat> I want to mean, means every kind of purpose we can solve by using all those arrangements. Coming to next. Here, basically, it is a material specification. I am not going through much more on detail on this, but two, three things I would like to mention here. Ki, as I told our portal frame, uh, normally, which kind of plate we are using that basically important to know. Here, basically, normally our hot rolled, what we have seen uh, <coughs> normally, I section, C section, angle section, or any plate, those are basically <coughs> uh, 250 grade material. Ill strength is 250. But normally, this kind of portal frame is used to 345 grade. So it is basically high strength grade. And why we are using this kind of grade? Because it gives some economy. It's, it has a ill strength higher than our roll section. So it gives <coughs> basically an economical solution. Yes, you, uh, if you are thinking, can we use 250 grade? Yes, we can. 250 grade also we can use. And more than this means 345 higher grade also we can use. But from <coughs> uh, it is a from experience or looking on different aspects. Nowadays, 345 is using uh, very widely using actually. But yes, where it is required, we can go on higher thick higher grade and even lower grade also. And similarly, coal form, basically here in our uh, portal structure, coal form, coal form in the sense secondary item. Secondary item, it can be hot roll section. It can be uh, tubular section, tubular in the sense circular and rectangle also. It can be used as a secondary member and one uh, which is widely using it is coal form section and it is Z looks like a Z section. So those also have been using. And rest of the your sitting mezzanine deck panel, cross bracing, cross bracing rod and angle we are using. Anchor bolt is also there. High strength bolts also have been using and machine bolts also is there. All are using. Coming to next. Now I am coming to type of loads. There are basically, as you know, all of you about those loads. Even though I am saying our portal frame and this arrangement can encounter all those kind of loads. Means dead load, collateral load, live load, wind load, seismic, crane load, snow loads. Everything is taken care by using this portal frame and, and using secondary and bracing, all those things. Those loads have been taken care. <clears throat> what does it mean, dead loads? Dead load means normally we call which is permanently resting on the structure. Like roof seat, purling, bracing and 
this kind of load basically it's, we call dead load basically those things those items are permanent on the structure we cannot remove at any point of time which affect the stability of the structure so that's why it is we call dead load collateral load collateral load nothing but a dead load but it can be it not a permanent kind of dead load <clears throat> permanent kind of means we cannot remove roof sitting we cannot remove purlin at any point of time but in collateral load like like ac ducting sprinkler system fire fighting fall ceiling any kind of platform those all are dead load but as and when required we can add or we can remove and those doesn't affect on our structure from stability point of view so that's why those load we called actually collateral it may be it may not be on the structure and the building is designed in such a way so that <clears throat> this load effect of this load can carry our structure live load all of you must be knowing what is live load live load means which is moving on the structure is we called live load uh, <clears throat> like a human movement even i think you must be knowing partition load also sometimes worked as a uh live load because partition in uh, according to your requirement partition you can move from move in the sense you can remove and can place on the other location so this kind wind load you know all those you wind load it can be transverse uh direction of the portal frame longitudinal direction of the building and obviously up load so this also can be applied seismic load is also there crane load as i discussed earlier all types of crane can be taken care snow load also can be taken care but in that case this snow load basically normally <clears throat> that slope of the roof basically increases just to counteract the uh snowfall coming to next this is basically some structural system and portal steel framing building this is basically i uh, want to mean or i want to show how load is transferring actually it is important to know how the load is transferred to the uh, steel building through portal system portal or primary and secondary and bracing system load is transferring <clears throat> as you know load can be from the top of the structure from the transverse direction of the structure and load can be from the longitudinal direction of the transfer if we look at this transverse you can see here it is a typing error huh? it is a basically wind load here it is written window not window it should be read as uh, it should be read as wind load huh? wind, load, wind. Ha, wind so load can be transverse load can be from the vertical here you can see uh, is it visible na yes it's it's visible sir ha okay so there is a crane load also apply this crane load also can be vertical transverse and longitudinal so this load this kind of load is taken care by this portal system itself this portal is <clears throat> means designed in such a way so that all those load can be taken care by this portal frame and now here i am coming to this longitudinal uh load 
uh, along the length of the building in longitudinal direction like this way when wind blow so this wind blowing can uh, means can uh, be like this way and another crane longitudinal load also can be act like this way so here this load basically shown as a crane longitudinal load and this outer is a basically uh, represents wind longitudinal force so this load basically wind it first strike to this area first then this load transfer to this roof bracing system roof bracing it transferred like here and then through this roof bracing this load distributed and then comes through the wall bracing like this way here this load is first strike here then this load transferred to entire bracing system then this load coming to through the wall bracing and like this way like this way this load is coming to the ground so one thing basically we have to know and we need to keep in mind always each and every load we we have to have structural arrangement in such a way that all loads must come to the foundation hope you got my point means no load can be on the air we have to make such a arrangement through which all the loads must be come to the ground for example this load distributed to roof bracing then comes to wall bracing then through this wall bracing it comes to ground if we remove this one this load will be end here and once it is a ending here it has to it has to some path so that it can reach it's just like a electricity any electrical city have to grounded na through our thing as i know i am I'm, i don't know much for electricity but my idea all electricity comes through grounded it looks it's also same thing has to be earthing has to reach the ground each and every load here this crane longitudinal loads also same way it's pass it's uh, basically passing through this gantry gutter then comes to this wall bracing and then like this way it comes to finally to the ground so that's we have to make all those arrangement <clears throat> that is the reason we are using this bracing i am i am coming to next slides why we are using this so transfers basically load bearing structure support and transfer vertical and horizontal loads what i told you and next is this uh, transmit this longitudinal actually transmit and bear the longitudinal wheel load <coughs> the longitudinal horizontal loading of the crane the thermal stresses also is there it also transfer like this way thermal stresses and the seismic acting on the gable end and the seismic also in the same way it either this way or this way a longitudinal tram and transverse both the load distributed in the similar way coming to next here basically it is the important actually why bracing is required in the structure uh, bracing basically wall bracing arrange in the length direction what i have shown already bracing can be used stabilize an entire steel frames and ensure the strength of the steel frame <coughs> in the length and width both the direction bearing wind and horizontal loads on the both side and transfer these loads to the foundation what i told you earlier in last uh, slides steel building large and small must support to resist 
this structural load to avoid collapse if we don't have this if i coming back to my this if we don't have this bracing system due to this force all the frame it will collapse in this way you have seen card in a or cycle stand all the cycle are standing one by other one <coughs> if we remove the last support all cycle will be collapsed so you think as a these all are individual cycle if we remove this bracing system entire system will collapse so bracing has a very much important role to stabilize the structure so always be careful and need to care on the bracing arrangement here it is also some one important thing basically when we are transferring on the load to the foundation uh, here in last uh, seen here we have seen ki this load is coming to this bottom up column but now how to transfer this load uh, from column to foundation so between column to foundation there is a arrangement we called actually anchor bolt base plate we required so this uh, base plate uh, arrangement anchor bolt and base plate arrangement it can be of two types one seen uh, pinned base another is fixed base pinned base means this kind of arrangement uh, here pinned means it is a also called sometimes hinge means there is a no moment it transfer only the tension and shear uh, through this arrangement it is a column actually it is a column and those are green those are basically anchor bolt and this shaded actually this is called base plate might be not visible but this is the arrangement here it is a basically pinned base no moment is developed but not allowed to develop and how it brings not allowed to develop here basically we know for moment we need the lever arm when we have force into lever arm generate moment here we try to keep this <coughs> anchor bolt as close as to possible to each other means there is a minimum lever arm or negligible lever arm since we have no lever arm in between bolt no lever arm means no moment so this is a very typical and basic arrangement of in case of pinned base and another system is fixed base here basically moment is also allowed moment allowed shear and tension obviously is there so main difference in case of pin base no moment allowed fixed base moment allowed and anchor bolt arrangement is little bit difference it is a very typical arrangement just for understanding purpose ki here we kept this anchor bolt uh means we kept in a gap between two anchor bolt to anchor bolt this is a one side of arrangement and this is a one side of arrangement when a one pair you can say pair and this is another pair and between this pair we have maintain a lever arm so since we have a lever arm means we have a moment so by this arrangement by this arrangement we have taken care the moment which is coming to the bottom of the column and then transferring to the foundation through this base plate and anchor bolt arrangement now i am coming to next here basically some design code we are used nowadays means we have obviously indian code we are very widely used this indian code and parallelly we have a practice american code also 
so we are using nowadays this american code means portal frame can be designed in both the uh, using by using the both this coded indian coded also american coded also as you know indian code we have an old code actually it is 1984 that time working space method have been using nowadays we have a 2007 latest code <coughs> here limited method is very much using this is loading code this is our seismic code this is our cold form cold form means uh, you must be remember i told that z section actually very thin plate using for secondary member <coughs> so that secondary z section is using by this code american code is in comparison to this code those are the comparison means this is working stress system this old code actually this is also used <coughs> working and limited both actually here it is using eisc code 2007 here also both working stress and limited can be used this is basically mbma code it is actually uh, for pre engineered building here some guidance is given it is not code but we called actually it is a some association kind of it is not code but it have been using very widely and this is our <coughs> for seismic we used indian code it is not a american code it is indian code for seismic load calculation we are using along with this american code aisi this is basically american code it is similar to this code have been using from the coal form section coming to next here is the stability it is also important to know the stability basically stability in the means serviceability actually serviceability point of view we need to know here basically i tried to compare all those i am not going through much more details but yes obviously two three point i would like to mention over here here basically this is old american code this is our old indian code which used working stress method and this is our latest here means point means uh, just i want to highlight for main frame this is vertical deflection this is horizontal deflection allowed for this code <coughs> this 1984 our old code this is our latest here with respect to american code and with respect to latest indian code it has not much difference but if we go through this one we can see in 1984 old code for deflection point of view we don't have much more variation actually much more variation in the sense for here main frame you can see when main frame with crane we have a different deflection limit and when we have a means for different different option mezzanine beam under slang purlin guard all those things for different cases we have different limit in our latest code but in our old code there is a no varieties at all actually for each and every case means whatever your purpose whatever your uses limits are the same this gives basically a uneconomical solution it gives very much high uh, very much larger section very much weight of the means very much cost uh, effective means co is cost is very much high so that's why what we are doing nowadays this deflection basically we are using much more we are not using almost obsolete kind of so this is the reason i want to highlight over here what is the advantage of this code and this code we are using and for crane uh, another thing also important need to know ki for crane here american code had given some relaxation on the serviceability means deflection a limit point of view we have given some relaxation here it is our indian code little bit on conservative side and this is obviously conservative side so that is the main reason actually because of those relaxation american code is going to be popular in our practice this is the reason that's why i have shown 
this comparison table why american code is going to be popular so if we compare all those parameter and there are a lot of things also is there but this is some point uh, some means relaxation based on which we are getting some uh, cost effective solution we are using this american code <clears throat> now i am coming to next uh, this is a load combination by our lsd method it is nothing but whatever written in our code it is the same thing i have just summarized for my own purpose and just to show you here is a <coughs> for design purpose strength and here is a serviceability purpose code our 2007 code has suggested all those combination so whenever we have to design the any kind of portal frame we have to use this combination compulsorily now this is the end of my topics i think i have covered <coughs> most of the important thing very shortly it was very elaborate thank you so much sir thank you sanjeev it was very elaborate thank you sir yeah, thank you very much sir uh, this is very thank precise you, and uh, each and everything is already mentioned in your presentation ki how to design what are the different kinds of loads which kind of building we have to design with, with respect to the type of building as well as a type of load also and after that uh, uh, it's very clear about the what is the purpose of steel trusses and the purpose of the use of portal frame and what is the major differences we are choosing the uh, lightweight structures as well as the uh, uh, also lightweight as well as the economic way also and uh, apart from that sir uh, in earlier slide you mentioned that uh, if you are designing the trusses we have to think about the cg central of gravity or their particular uh, members if you are using the ms uh, steel for the angle sections channel sections as well as the gutter sections but what about the portal frame because portal frame is the form of the built up section so in that way we have to think about the cg also in that frame uh, CG in the sense it is a uh, when we are designing means when basically we so, uh, use software for designing this portal frame manually okay. it will be very much complicated to design and it is a basically iteration of your designing each and okay. every time you have to check the uh, uh, properties and all so that's why we use this software and that software basically taken care of all those kind of your uh your precaution actually it takes all those cg is obviously cg is obviously is the important thing yes, when, yes, sir, yeah. uh, when we design as a 3d model and when we uh, design with dynamic analysis that times cg actually does matter but okay. in that case our software basically taken care of everything but obviously it is a important thing important thing yes yes obviously and sir, what about the letter forces? Uh, if you if you, if you have to design the any kind of portal frame or steel process in the earthquake zone one, so we have to think about the letter forces. Obviously, uh, your seismic also gives lateral thrust, and that has to be distributed. I very small way actually I told, ki like a wind force, wind has a lateral thrust. Hmm. So in the same way, uh, seismic also having your lateral and longitudinal thrust. Exactly, sir. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, sir. In fact, you know, a very interesting diagram uh, that you had shown was that the wind load was coming from the top, you know, and yes. then there was a transfer of the load and through a diagonal bracing, it was coming below. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when the load was coming below, another wind load, wind load was meeting the, uh, you know, the transfer yes. at that point. Yes. So the structure was standing as a, uh, you know, to invert the load, you know, it was inverting the load before yes. it got transferred to the foundation. Yes. So this kind of webbing that you were talking about was helping the structure transfer the load of the lateral forces against the lateral forces themselves, you know. Yes, and it gives the stability actually. Uh, giving more stability. Yes. Uh, longitudinal tra transverse direction 
portal frame itself good enough to uh, stability purpose hmm. but longitudinal hmm. direction we don't have any such kind of things right. that's why we provide secondary members have few contribution but major has a bracing right right so any questions coming from the students akshansh harshit abhishek navneet okay sir i think uh, the students are uh, sort of uh, you know they have lot of information to process you know and uh, although they had visited a site where uh, you know uh, all uh, portal frames were being made you know they had visited epac here in uh, greater noida and seen the fabrication of portal frames but this nice. theoretical clarity with the is codes and the american standards codes and uh, information was very useful for them